Welcome back to Rooftop Smokes. We're going to do a review of the La Cava del Poro Oro. Sorry, Oro. It's out of Colombia. My friend Jay gave me this cigar to review. Um, it's roughly a 52 to 54 gauge and five and a half, five and a half inch long. Um, all the way from Colombia, me. So we're gonna smoke this and I'm gonna give you a review. Rooftop Smokes, smoking Colombian, a Colombian blend of tobacco. Be right back. All right, we're back with La Cava del Boro Oro. This 52-ish, 54-ish gauge, five and a half inch long cigar out of Colombia. Actually out of La, Ca La Cava del Boro, Colombia. As the story goes, my friend Jay was visiting Colombia. Picked, uh, went into the cigar shop, and this, uh, I guess, the proprietor hand rolled him a few of these. Um, as you can see, I'm sort of touching up the foot a bit with the burn. Um, not a pretty cigar to look at, but it's not badly crafted actually. Um, you know, caps on there fairly well. It's as the flavors when I first lit up a lot of spice, um, some pepper some nut to it, a um, little bit of cedar, some woodiness, very, a very mild cigar, it's not bad, um, very smooth draw, hmm. smoke generation is not too bad on it, um, it is a bit windy today, but yeah, let me get more into this and I'll get right back to you, Rooftop Smokes, reviewing La Cava del Poro Oro, be back momentarily hermanos, get okay. Welcome back to Rooftop Smokes and the La Cava de Boro Oro. The burn is evened up quite a bit. As you can see, the ash is flaking there a bit, which isn't too bad. Um, the draw on it, I tried to get a, a word for it, but it's really silky smooth. It's It's got a nice draw. Um, texture of the smoke coming out of it is quite nice. Uh, flavors are still consistent throughout that spicy, nutty, pepperiness. Um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, my first Colombian cigar ever. Um, thanks again, Jay, for letting me uh, smoke this and review. Um, getting to the midway point, and then hopefully the band will come off flawlessly, because I do want to keep this band. Um, yeah, I'll be back. Let's see how this goes. Rooftop Smokes, we'll be back. All right, welcome back to Rooftop Smokes. Getting down to the band. The band, as you can see, came off flawlessly on the La Cava del Boro Oro. Um, yeah, smooth smoke. Very, I'd, I like to use the word silky. It's a very nice silky draw to it. Um, flavors are still consistent throughout. Um, yeah got nothing bad to say except it did start off a little wonky on the burn but it did sort of even out a bit um, still a great draw hmm a little smoke generation there for you the winds died down a bit um, I'm gonna finger burn this wonderful cigar from Q uh, Columbia thanks again Jay for uh, sharing this cigar with me and allowing me to do a review um, I believe it's a 52-ish, 54 gauge, five and a half inch long um, cigar out of Colombia. Nice tobacco. And the guy who rolled this out of his uh, shop did an excellent job. You know, it's pretty firm. It's not too squishy or mushy. It's it's really good. It's nice, nicely constructed. So, hermanos, get okay. I'm gonna sign out. Enjoy the rest of this cigar. Until next time, see you on the roof. Bye, Ogandios.